settling. It's time to stop talking. It's time to go racing. Oh, a big jump there. There must be a malfunction with the we gate. We got a problem. We have got a problem. The gate has not dropped. Several riders hit it, but I don't think that was because the gate flinched. Well, I think maybe the gate flinched, so the riders oh, did, but it, it didn't okay. drop. It did not drop all the way. Okay. Wow, this is a, a strange scenario. Very rarely does it happen at this level at amateur races. Sometimes they'll have malfunctions <laughs> all the time. And they're immediately going to work and looking at those gates. There's Ferris. I did look like a, a, a blue fender that hit that. Okay. All right, listen closely here, folks. We got some of the audio of this. You'll hear it click, but not fall. Listen. Yeah. Wow. So the click means they tried to activate it. Yep. Sometimes dirt can get in there, you know, like when they're doing grading or guys come by, and if it jams, um, it's hard to explain without a piece of paper and you can't see my hands, but it's basically yeah. one bar that goes across, and they all have these little tabs that come off that hold each gate individually. See, so one bar drops all the gates. Obviously, if you hit the gate, your gate won't fall because each gate is detached, but it's all on one bar, so they all fall at the same time. So what happens is that thing's got to rotate from almost an upright position to that, call it at least a little, about 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. But if there's dirt, and it, get, it can get jammed for a number of reasons, but that's most likely what it is. And then it just, you heard the click, but it wasn't able to fall because it was wedged. Wow. So but that's now why they got it. it. Okay. <laughs> they definitely got it working now. They're inside. This is what we call the doghouse in a <laughs> motocross park. in more ways he's than in, one. He, I was going to say, he, he probably <laughs> feels like he's in the doghouse dog right house. now. Right now, I think they're Someone's talking. going, you've got one job. <laughs> no, it can happen to anyone. Okay. I think, I think that might have been a technical discussion, or were they just giving a pat on the back saying, you can do this, you can do this. Okay, so we're going to get ready and once again start this first moto, which just gives us more chance to talk about how wild this has been. With Baggett throwing some bold sauce onto his comments after winning last week, said that uh, the yeah, goal is did. to break Eli Tomac. Know that Eli Tomac's not going to be happy about that. He wants to get back on top of this one. Marvin Muskan, the points leader, although Marvin struggled a bit in practice today. So let's see if he can recover. The track has been completely changed, not only from previous years, but they've groomed it quite a bit since practice. So whatever we saw earlier yeah. today, what, does that even mean much? Or are we just starting from scratch? Yeah, it's pretty close. Pretty yeah. close to almost starting from ground zero again. And they're testing that gate one more time. I feel like this is a groundhog day here. Card is sideways. Uh-oh. The riders have not bring, brought the revs back up. We have more problems here. That gate had dropped while she had the card up. Yeah, As we try to sort this out. Baggett is the rider on the KTM next to the doghouse. Riders left, our right. And Tomac a little bit further. That is actually Josh Grant next to him. Now we've got the camera on the doghouse itself.